Hey everyone, it's Poke12212, and this is my very first review on a game that I just got, and I've heard that it has very bad reviews on it, so I decided to try it for myself. Yay. So anyway, um, this game has been known online for stiff, stiff controls and um bad gameplay or something but it actually isn't all bad I think those guys were kind of high when they did that review on uh, gameratings.com or whatever now let's just start here alright immediately in the main mode um you have story, normal, survival, shop, and tutorial. Now, <clears throat> there's a story to this game where first you only have the hero story, and after you beat the hero story, you get the Babylon story. I beat both of them. And it's a very short storyline, that's one of its down points. Beat it in two hours at the most. Uh, okay, so then we have normal race, free raid, oh wait, before we get into that, there are only about eight stages for each, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight again, and eight, okay, so in all, and each of the stages has a different track, even though you go to the same place. So that's a total of 16 tracks all together. Uh, it's okay, but I, w I could ask for a little more. Alright, so in the normal race mode, you have free race and time attack at, at the start. After you beat the uh, story mode, you get the World Grand Prix, where you race on each course for the, be for the best uh, place. I don't know if it's a point system used or something. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Um, there's survival mode where you play versus or co-op using special rules. Uh, shop where you can buy more extreme gear with tr with rings that you find in the courses, and you can buy new things. Now, as you see there, there's a little thing that says gear parts. Well, it, during the game. There, when you get rings, you can upgrade your board by spending those rings on a gear part. That means you can put your max speed up, um, you can grind on rails, you can turn it into a god knows what else. Um, but, yeah. Anyway. Then there's tutorial mode. I'm just going to go into normal race right now. Into like free race. Onto the first track that you get. Uh, Maglo Station. Now, first, you only have six characters. Sonic, uh, Tails, Knuckles, Amy. No, wait, seven characters, I'm sorry. Um, Jet, Storm, and Wave. After you beat the story mode, you can unlock Cream, Rouge, Shadow, Silver, Blaze, Blaze, Dr. Eggman, and more of his robots. I'm gonna play this jet right here. You choose your board. You start the race. Now I'm going to explain the system of which this game is based around. It's based on gravity, <laughs> which is in the title of the game itself. And, well, <clears throat> you have these things called gravity points. <clears throat> now, with these gravity points, you can use a gravity dive or use a slingshot move, which is used to turn around tight corners, which can, no, can come in real handy. Now, at the beginning, you'll have to back up and run forward at that bar. If you do it right, you should get a, you should get a good amount of starting gravity points. And you can do tricks off of 
platforms like that. The trick system's all all based off timing. So there's no button combinations or anything that you had to press. Now there's item boxes for rings, and as I said, there's your gear parts up there in the corner, and the amount of rings that you can carry. Alright, now, after you, if you have enough gravity points, you can do what's called a gravity dive, where you press the R1 button, or I don't know what on the Wii remote, to go very fast. But that wasn't it. Anyway, and here's what you call a slingshot move. Very nice. Anyway, and in when you're in a gravity dive, um, you, when you hit objects, um, when you hit objects, you go faster. And that was a one lap race for some reason. Well, let me start up a new one. Here we go. No way, I'm gonna lose. But if you hit objects while in a gravity dive, you go faster. Kind of weird. But it's actually pretty cool. Now, the controls are not at all stiff. And there's plenty of variety in the game. So I don't know why it's getting such bad reviews. It's actually really good. I'm actually addicted to it right now. <laughs> but anyway. Um... Show you grab your dive real quick, right here. Press the R1 button on the PS2. And we're in this mode, you can hit stuff to go faster, but there was nothing I could hit. Could hit. But if you stay in your gravity uh, dive for too long, um, your gravity point meter will decrease down to nothing, which means you have to gain gravity points before it goes back up. that. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the initial gameplay. The only things I have wrong with the game so far is a short storyline. Um, sometimes the computers can be a bit tough, but I always like a challenge. And there's a nice variety of, but there's a nice variety of characters, nice variety of equipment that you can buy by gathering up rings. And the music, as always, is just awesome. Sonic music has always been one of the best. And anyway, I would give this game an 8 out of 10 because it's not perfect, but it's very good. But I'd advise you to rent it first to see if you like it. That's why I'm like for almost every game. Rent it first, then decide if you buy it. Unless you know it's going to be very, very unlike it a lot. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this review. But there's some extra stuff too, so let's exit out of this main mode here. There's extras. Yay. You can listen to uh, music and watch um, um, movies from the storyline, from the story mode. Um, you can see all the extreme gear that you got. Pretty cool. Then there's an options mode. Yeah, all the standard stuff there. Anyway, that's it for this review of Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. It's a pretty good game. Anyway, um, if you like my video, subscribe subscribe to them up in the corner. Get five star reviews down below. If you like this review, um, tell me in the comments box down below, and I might make more of them if uh, I get enough saying that they're good. That was good. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.